did the Civil War begin? Well, in England at the time, there were three huge problems waiting to go off, and they all exploded in 1642. These three problems were a problem of power, who should rule, the problem of religion, how should people worship God, and the problem of money, how should you finance the monarchy. The first problem here is power. In 1625, when Charles I became king, he had been ruled, brought up by James I's dad to believe that he was sent by God to rule the people of England, and so people should do as he tells them to. And yet, Parliament, who were an elected body representing the rich gentry of England, they believed they represented the people. They'd been growing in power through the Tudor times. Uh, Henry VIII had asked them to um, confirm the religious settlement, which made him head of the Church of England. Elizabeth had asked Parliament again to confirm her religious settlement. So Parliament were getting a growing sense of their importance in ruling the country. There was also the problem of religion. Charles, uh, in 1625, had married a beautiful Catholic princess called Henrietta Maria, um, she was from France, and uh, the fact that she was a Catholic meant that their children would probably be raised as Catholics. These were going to be the heirs to the throne of England. And Charles asked his friend, Archbishop Lord, to make changes to the Church of England, to make it more beautiful, to make stained glass windows, statues of Jesus and of Mary, um, to put lovely hangings in church, um, and this really, really offended the Puritans at the time, who wanted a, a simple churches, uh, who didn't want to be distracted from praying to God. But at the time, there were increasing numbers of Puritans uh, were members of Parliament. The final problem was money, uh, because of the raising costs, rising costs of warfare, rising costs uh, of being a king, of being a monarch. Charles I. Uh, was constantly skinny, he needed money. Um, and tradition had it that he had to ask Parliament for uh, taxes, for permission to, for, for them to grant him taxes. Now, Parliament would have been happy to do this, but they were so upset uh, at Charles's attitudes towards them, as he thought he was sent by God, and to the fact that he was married to a Catholic, that they wanted um, him to take their advice before he, they gave him these taxes, Charles. Um, went mad about this, kicked them out, and decided to try and rule for 11 years all by himself, where he tried to uh, raise his own taxes illegally, like uh, ship money, for example, and if people didn't pay it, they were, they were uh, brutally punished. So all these problems are building up in the 1620s, 1630s, into the 1640s in England. Now, the one thing that sparks off all of these problems was... Uh, when Charles and Archbishop Lord decided to try and impose the, their prayer book and this way of making churches more beautiful on the people of Scotland. Remember, Charles is King of England and of Scotland. Now, the people in Scotland are mega Puritan or Presbyterian, as they call themselves. And uh, they went mad when, um, when Charles tried to do this. They raised their own army called the Cumter Army and they invaded the north of England. Charles Desperate, needs, needs uh, an army to fight against them. For an army, he needs money to pay for their uh, armour and for their weapons. And so he has to recall Parliament. Parliament, angry, uh, having been shut out from power for so long, they say, well, of course we'll give you this money, but only if you change the churches back, only if you agree to rule with us, only if you repeal all these illegal taxes, and we want you to execute your friend, your staff, and later they demand the execution um, of Archbishop Lord, which Charles duly agrees to because he's so desperate. Um, but then when they begin, when Parliament begin to draw up another list uh, of things, of complaints against Charles, Charles thinks they've gone too far. He takes soldiers into the Houses of Parliament, the House of Commons, something monarchs just cannot do to arrest the five leading MPs. They get wind of what's happening, they flee up the Thames before he arrives, and Charles comes in to the House of Commons and he says very famously, Anyway, it appears my birds have flown. The people of London hear about this, about Charles overstepping the mark, and they're also buoyed up with fear about an Irish uh, invasion that there's rumours of. 
and they go mad and there's riots in the streets of London. Charles realising that he's lost the support of London, that he's lost the support of Parliament, takes himself and his family up to Nottingham and any nobles or any people from Parliament who will support him. He raises his standard and he says, who will join me to create an army so we can go back to Parliament and crush 